Inside Team Z's shared room, each player identifies their unique weapons. Bachira's weapon is his dribbling. Raichi excels in his shooting technique. Gagamaru is great at close quarter plays. Narahaya can fly across the pitch. Lemon is a jack of all trades. Egaguri has an unyielding fighting spirit. Kunigami's left foot has a strong shooting power. Imamura has excellent speed and technique. Kyuan has exceptional jumping power. This leaves Izugi and Chijuri. Izugi has a hard time distinguishing his weapon. Izugi asks for a little bit of time to think of his weapon. Kyuan then asks Chijuri about his weapon. However Chijuri does not want to tell it. Raichi found Chijuri's actions arrogant and then asks the team to move on without Chijuri and Izugi's weapons identified, taking the lead and strategizing. Kyuan tells the team that each player must learn how to utilize their weapons to the fullest. Lemon then asked if Kyuan's suggestion will not result in a playstyle similar to their performance in their previous game. Team Z's greedy and selfish playstyle led to the ultimate demise of the team. To avoid having a chaotic and self-centered match, Kyuan suggests the I'm the next nine tactic. Each player will have 10 minutes to be the striker and display their weapons. After strategizing, Team Z went through special training. The training aims to unify Team Z as a team. Following the special training, the players go to the dining hall to eat. Izugi eats natto. It is hinted that he has been eating natto ever since he was at Blue Lock. While eating, Izugi reflects on what his weapon could be. After a few minutes, Kunigami appears. Kunigami thanks Izugi for passing the ball to him. Izugi then asks Kunigami why he plays football. Kunigami says that it's simple. He plays so that he can be a football superhero. Izugi noted that the resolution that Kunigami has is what he lacks. Kunigami then offers Izugi a plate of steak. Kunigami shows to Izugi the goal exchange system. He then explains that for every goal a player scores, you can exchange it for various stuff. 1 point for 300g sirloin steak. 3 points for a cell phone return. 5 points for a high quality bed. Lastly, 10 points for a day outside. Kunigami shares the steak with Izugi, believing that he deserves half the credit for it. While eating, Kunigami asks Izugi why he passed to him and not to Raichi. On the other hand, Raichi was in a better spot and unmarked. Izugi laughs and tells Kunigami that he passed unconsciously, like a reflex. Kunigami suggested that Izugi's weapon may be the ability to smell the goal. Team Y vs Team Z Kyuan tells Team Z that Team Y is in a similar situation with them. Like Team Z, if Team Y loses, they will be up for elimination and unable to recover. Kyuan also warns the team to watch out for Hibiki Okawa. For this match, Team Z will be using the I'm the next nine strategy. There will be a rotation for the players performing as forward. To fully grasp the potential of each member's weapons, every member of Team Z must support the main forward and wait for their turn. Chijuri however asks to remain in the defensive. He shows no interest in being in the offensive. Because of this, each player will have 10 minutes to exhibit their weapon. The first forward of Team Z is Bachira. Bachira easily broke through by himself using his super solo strategy. Nonetheless, Bachira was caught unprepared when Nico stole the ball from behind. Izugi remarks that, like Team Z, Team Y has its own strategies. After a few minutes, Bachira tries once more, but 10 minutes have already passed. The next striker is Kunigami. Kunigami's weapon relies on his teammates to bring the ball to his zone while he focuses on staying unmarked. Fortunately, a teammate passes the ball to Kunigami. Kunigami kicks the ball, hoping to score, but was blocked by two players from Team Y. The ball continues to be stolen from one team to the other. While playing, Izugi noticed that Okawa has not been moving for some time. Suddenly, Okawa moved. Apparently, Okawa was precisely waiting for the right time to attack. Izugi concluded that Team Z was able to attack only because Team Y allowed them to attack. All this time, Okawa was waiting for Nico to give him a signal to attack. Okawa, in possession of the ball, runs towards the goal. Izugi believes that Team Z fell into Team Y's trap. Lemon, new to the position of goalkeeper, failed to block Okawa's pass. This inevitably resulted in Okawa scoring a goal. The score is now 1-0. It is hinted that Okawa's weapon is his super shooting. To avoid another goal by Team Y, Team Z decided on having two players mark Okawa. Izugi deduced that Team Y's tactic was to hold out and wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. Izugi believes that, to defeat Team Y, they must stop Okawa from scoring. 
Meanwhile, Team Z is still employing their I'm the next nine strategy. For Team Z, the next forward will be Qon. To fully utilize Qon's power, Team Z attempts to pass the balls at a very tall height to put the opposite team at a disadvantage. This however proves to be difficult since Team Y has an excellent defense. Struggling to pass the ball, Kunigami overlooked Nico's presence. Nico used this opportunity to steal the ball from Kunigami and pass it to his teammate. This shocked Izugi since he thought that Nico would pass it to Okawa, who was great at scoring. The game continues. As each minute passes, Team Z is losing their chance for victory. 45 minutes have passed. Inside the break room, players of Team Z is shown having mixed emotions. None of which is positive. With a score of 1 to 0, Chidori questions if the uh, I'm the next 9 tactic is effective. Chidori's doubts angered Raichi. Raichi believes Chidori is in no place to complain, seeing that Chidori chose to conceal his weapons from the team. Once again, Team Z is in dispute. Qon steps us to stop the conflict. Qon argues that their current strategy is working and that there is no need to change anything. Izugi in his head, wonders if doing so is the right choice. The second half of the game starts with Team Y in possession of the ball. Following Team Z's strategy, Imamura will be the main forward for these 10 minutes. Imamura however is having a hard time using his weapons since the opponent has the ball. To Imamura, football is like love. A girl that is out of his league. That girl is like Team Y. Once Imamura gets past that girl, he'll win him over. A teammate passes the ball to him. Imamura kicks the ball, hoping to score to a goal. Unfortunately, Imamura's efforts were unsuccessful. To prove that Imamura's efforts were not in vain, Gagamara comes to the rescue. Gagamara tries to score using his head, but fails. Ten minutes have passed, and Gagamaru is the next main forward. Twenty minutes have passed in the second half, but Team Z hasn't scored yet. To avoid losing again, to secure victory, to stay longer in blue lock, Izugi decided to trust his premonitions. In an instant, Izugi chose to trust his instincts. In the middle of the heated game, Izugi realizes that he was wrong. Not just mistaken, the whole Team Z was tricked. Izugi learned that it wasn't Okawa who they need to keep watch of. Instead, it was Nico pulling all the shots for Team Y. The core of Team Y was Nico, not Okawa. Nico has been maintaining Team Y's defensive and offensive stability. Nico has been Team Y's secret leader. This shocking information led Izugi to the decision that he must put a stop to Nico. Bachira passes the ball to Izugi drives the ball towards the goal to score. Before the ball reaches the net, Nico stops it. Luckily, Gagamaru rebounds the ball. In the court, Nico reveals to Izugi that if it weren't for him, Okawa would have scored his second goal. If that had happened, Team Y would have already won. Nico also tells Izugi that they have the very same eyes, but Izugi cannot win against him. According to Nico, he is in control of the game right now. And this brings the anime to an end. Comment for part 5. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.